What's up, people? Uh, I told you all I was going to make this tutorial uh, once I got my 204 in Glitchless Unrestricted. Uh, so I'm going to show you all the strats and some of the tech and stuff in the LE% percent run. Um, since we're doing Unrestricted, I'll show you all some of the settings that I use. I'm going to make me go away. Okay. So it's Unrestricted. We can use whatever modifiers we want. I definitely suggest having both these on. We don't really craft anything. I guess that's not necessary, but infinite ammo, obviously you should use that. Uh, one shot is important. I don't know if I melee anybody, but I always have touch of death on. And I mean, why not have infinite listen mode on? I've never used it in a run, but you might need to if uh, you get into a weird situation. Might as well have it on. Anything else though, I feel like it doesn't really matter. I mean, slow motion is obviously a no-no. Those are my settings there. Uh, let's look at accessibility settings. Anything in here? Nothing in here. Um, I think that high contrast display is useful sometimes. Um, you can toggle it on and off by swiping left on the touchpad. So I just keep it on setting one because I like the way it looks. It's off most of the time, but there are a couple sections that I turn it on, so definitely suggest keeping that on. Uh, this is all personal preference. I think motion blur is ugly, so I have it on one. Camera shake is on two. Uh, I like the camera to be close, but to be able to see wide around me. But most people just keep it at zero and zero. That's whatever you want. Um, I have enhanced listen mode on. I never use it, though. But infinite breath is good just in case you're underwater for too long. And skip puzzle. Uh, that's that's really the main thing of this category that separates it from the others is the fact that you can skip like seven or eight minutes of the run just by skipping puzzle. So obviously you should keep that on. Uh, combat accessibilities. I mean, it, it definitely helps to have these on, of course. The only thing I have off is enemies don't flank. Because I want them to rush me sometimes. But I don't haven't tested if it really matters or not. I just keep that one off. Everything else though, go ahead and keep it on. Turn weapon sway off. Um I think that's pretty much it. I mean, okay, let's look at the HUD too. Reticle is up to you. I like the awareness indicators on. It definitely helps to kind of see what's going on. Um the HUD and everything, I mean, yeah, that's all up to you, but it makes sense just to keep it on. I think that's everything. Okay, um, let's get started. Uh, this is pretty much done on very light, so I do change the difficulty sometimes. You'll see when I do that, but just in general, it doesn't matter what difficulty you do it on, so you might as well do it on very light. That gives you the biggest advantage. You have to turn the pre-order bonus off if you play on new game. It's important. You have to show that you hit it off when you start. Um, I think you should turn lock on off. Lock off. Uh... Camera assist is annoying. Auto weapon swap I think is annoying. And yeah, let's get started. So there's actually a skip in this cutscene right here. You can time pause. If you do it perfectly, you can skip the first cutscene. Uh, you have like a half a second window tops to skip the cutscene, and that's a 12 second time save off the bat. And if you miss it, you might as well just reset. But look at the little circle in the bottom right, the loading circle. I get it like half the time. I get the timing on this right like half the time. Wait for it to fill up. As soon as it disappears, hit pause. I got it. Uh, so. That was before the whatever it is, like Naughty Dog or whatever stuff comes up. 
uh, you can skip it. Only if you time it really well. So you skip it. You get another little load screen. Yeah, this is very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> this is the fun part. And you can skip the first cinematic and... And... These load screens are awesome. They're so fun. Now we're going. By the way, I have L1 and R1 for aiming and shooting. And L2 for sprint, that kind of stuff. You can do whatever you want there though. So I don't have much to say for this, just follow the same route that I follow. And there's one thing, there's one strat on the horse that does end up saving a few seconds. Once you start galloping, make sure not to turn left or right at all on the left stick. Just keep it directly forward and be very gentle with the camera motion on the right stick. So if you turn the camera too fast, the horse slows down. I think I might have lost the gallop already. But if you don't deviate from holding the left stick... No, okay, no, we had it. I just bumped into that rock. But if you keep that left stick directly forward and you're very gradual on the camera, then you get the horse to sprint for longer. Okay, don't run into those rocks. <laughs> Some of these collision boxes are really wide, like the trees and the bushes and the rocks. The horse doesn't like those things. All right, so as soon as we drop off here, restart checkpoint, I think it saves a couple seconds. Actually, I haven't timed that one. It's like right as you're about to hit, to hit the ground, you can restart. And, yep. Yeah. Just keep going. I'm not the best at riding the horse, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> if you want to look at some of the more technical stuff, I think that Contol's runs are pretty well practiced in the nitty gritty stuff like this. I think I have really good movement tech, but Okay, as soon as you see that rope pop up on the right, the little circle thingy, that's when you can skip. That's, that's what I always look for. That circle right there, you can skip it. I have good movement tech and stuff, but I'm not that good at the horses. I hate the horses in this game, man, honestly. Such a pain in the ass. Also, I guess I'll keep this loading screen in because I'm still talking, but I think I'm going to cut out the rest of the loading screens because they're just really long. So I'm either going to fast forward them or I'm going to completely cut them out. Um, just to save time because that's boring, right? You all don't want to see that. Unless I have something important to say. Okay, as soon as the white line pops up, that's when you can skip this puzzle. Yeah, the guitar is considered a puzzle. I don't know why. And you skip the cinematic again. All right, there's another cinematic. Hmm, I don't think holding sprint does anything here, but I just have a habit of holding sprint all the time when I'm moving. It's like a superstition of mine. It might actually speed you up in, in this kind of setting. So there are lots of restart checkpoints throughout the run. I don't know every single one, and I don't know if all of them save time. So here's something important. Every restart checkpoint you do, it counts 1.0 second worth of the black screen before the game comes back up. So basically, every single restart checkpoint wastes a second. You got everything? As soon as you can move here, you can restart. I actually don't know if this one's worth it, but we can go ahead and do it anyway. 
Heads up, you're the talk of the town this morning. So, yeah, we're still figuring out which restart checkpoints are worth it or not. Let me see if I got I'll this. definitely point out which ones are worth it. She kissed me. Um, and then I'll acknowledge some that I'm not sure if it's not worth it. Word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got And Joel. I'll just Definitely. not even mention the ones that aren't worth it. It was a strange night, man. But I'm not the expert on restart I'm checkpoints. Excited. Kevin. Um, I'll link Kevin's stuff in the description. He's the master of the restart checkpoints. And Contol and Anthony, and for the most part, me. We all do a good job of using restart checkpoints, but Kevin's the one who really understands it the most. So I'll link his videos and stuff in the description. Anyway, yeah, you can get in front of Jesse here. It's kind of hard to position, so we should probably practice this more than anything else. There's like a flow to it. And staying in front of him, that's really the hard part of this. We stayed in front of him for long enough, so that's fine. If you slip off of him and he he ends up turning around to look at you, I think that wastes three seconds. Okay, stay back here until he gets to the door, and then go forward. Because if you run in front of him there, he will step back, and it's really annoying. In the back. It's incredibly annoying. So you don't want to get in front of him. Skip cinematic. All right. This is boring. Just keep walking this way. When you go out, I want you to trade. You're going around the patio, so I try to aim directly for this like corner rail that we're walking toward right now. Just walk straight to it. Watch yourself. The shortest path from point A to point B in flat space is a straight line. So that's what we're doing. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails. Not really. On this corner. As soon as we hit this post, we can restart checkpoint. That one's worth it. Ellie. We gotta listen to Maria. So as soon as the camera switches to Jesse and Ellie, you can pause it and skip the cinematic. But an important thing to know, this will just save you a lot of headache throughout the run. Um, sometimes you get really long load screens. Um, so if you're about to hit a long load screen like this one, then just stay on the pause menu for about 10 or 11 seconds. It's usually what I do. And once you've been on there for 10 seconds, then you can skip it. And it cuts away the load screen. It makes the load screen go to basically zero. That's what happens here and in a few other spots. Um, okay, but before I skip this, there's a very interesting tech that we use in this snowball fight that skips the throwing animation. Um, it has to do with hitting sprint. When you pick up the snow, you let go of sprint just for a, a couple frames and then hit sprint again. You hold it in. Watch the inputs on the controller. As soon as you pick up the snow, let go and then hold back in sprint and then you can throw it right away it skips the animation of like packing it in and then throwing it and everything it ends up saving like 12 seconds throughout the snowball fight so yeah just pay attention to this i might not get it right first try just watch the controller this route is the best route to take too for this category if you go to the right there, Dina is a lot more likely to hit the kid. Now, I did just miss a throw. If that happens, just, I don't know, whatever. Oh, I just missed a second throw. Come on, dude. As soon as you get the 10th hit, restart checkpoint. That's really, this is one of those RNG heavy sections. It's really hard to get a really good snowball fight. If you go that way instead of down the middle, he knows a lot more likely to hit the kid. Damn. That was fucking flawless. Ultimately, I'm just trying to get the point across. That snowball animation tech skip, that's important. 
as soon as you can zoom or as soon as you can move Ellie, restart checkpoint. But yeah, that tech is the most important Jesse, thing. Take the route that I took address. and try your best not Good to miss any snowballs. Oh, that's nice you assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. Morning. And that's pretty much it. That's one of those sections you should practice though and make sure you get the flow down because it's that's my biggest reset point in the whole run is the snowball fight. It's so incredibly annoying. That's a good girl. Okay, so there's some important movement tech I want to show you all here before I get started. Um, there's a type of movement called dodge punching. Uh, it's just a dodge and then a punch. And similarly with Ellie, it's a dodge knife. Um, it's just like this. Dodge, punch, dodge, punch. Just like that. Um, but you can do it a few different ways. You can do dodge punches that aren't. Like the punch is not the sprinting animation. So it's just the dodge and then square. You can also do it with the sprinting animation where you dodge and then hold L2 and square. Like that. Um, and here's a weird thing. If you dodge punch, if you do the non-sprinting dodge punch backwards. Oh, uh, never mind. In some spots, if you go the other direction, she just, um, like, she does a standing punch like this. It's like, it's like, it looks like that, kind of. Um, so there are some sections where you have to know if she does the fast punch or the slow punch, or if you need to do the sprinting punch or the non-sprinting punch. It's actually really technical. Um, so that's why I wanted to spend some time showing you. Come on, this way. So we start out with sprinting punches here. So pay attention to the controller. We dodge, then hold sure sprint do and punch. And it's warmer. No. Then dodge, jump. Can't wait. And you don't dodge, want jump again me. to get face in the right way. And then, again, these are all sprinting punches. What are you doing then a non-sprinting punch. Been restless. Then these are all sprinting punches. Feel like the farther south we go, pretty dodge, much dodge, dodge, sprinting oh, punch. Just drive all the way this is a non-sprinting punch. <laughs> then these are all sprinting. Dodge, climb, yeah, non-sprinting punch here. Yeah, no, probably not. Try to punch around this rock. It's really like awkward. We're gonna be tired for today's trip. Yes. Okay, non-sprinting like punch here. Out of it these past few days. Then one more. Yeah, and perfect. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. Then restart checkpoint as soon as you can move up here. You'll be that fine. puts Owen in front of us. Too high. And that's pretty much it. Shit. Hey. Eyes on me. Abby. Stop looking down. So start with the dodge jump. In a sprinting punch, dodge and climb the right side. In a non-sprinting punch, then climb the right side of this. Then it's one more dodge, and you can restart checkpoint pretty much as soon as she crosses this line right here. It's pretty much as soon as she crosses this line, you can dodge and restart checkpoint. Let me show you that one more time. Stop looking down. So you'll know you did a good job if you can restart checkpoint before she says, "How about I put my foot up here?" That's that's usually my indicator. We have to go back this way. So non-sprinting punch, and then climb up here. Just dodge once. See, she didn't get the line out yet. We can restart checkpoint, and it puts us right here. Excellent. We can climb up, and pretty early in the climb, you can skip the cinematic. So now we're playing as Abby. I'll do the whole thing on my own. Running through. I dodged before I climbed there. I don't think it saves any time or loses any time. I just like to do that sometimes. 
just sort of follow this route. Jogging is faster than dodge punching for all this. Like, the fast jog is the exact same speed as dodge punching. So you might as well just jog. Because you can always mess up the punches and stuff. There's a way to skip this by dodge sprint punching or something. I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. You should watch Anthony or somebody do that. Some people like to dodge punch here. But for some reason my camera bugs out, so I just do two dodges. But you can dodge punch dodge. A non-sprinting punch. And it goes through a little bit faster, but it makes my camera bug out. So I just do two dodges. Oh, shit. Triangle prompt. Then a dodge non-sprinting punch right here is a little bit faster. Saves like less than a second. There's some of these prompts, you don't actually have to hit square. I don't know which ones you can, like, just not hit square, but I hit square for all of them. It's just easier. Get it up and you can jump here when you get up. It, it's kind of scary. I don't know if I'm doing it right. But it is about half a second faster. Went through the second window. <clears throat> don't pick up the ammo. You don't need ammo. You have infinite ammo. It's a waste of time. Now when you're shooting this shot, let go of the left stick and you shoot faster. If you're still holding forward on the left stick and you're trying to aim, then there is input delay by like almost a second. It's disgusting. So let go of the left stick when you're getting that shot. You can dodge punch down this. I can't fucking do it. I don't know how to do it. I cannot figure it out. I've seen Anthony and David and a bunch of other people get it every single time. So that's, that's something you should watch them do. It saves like half a second. We're still figuring out a lot of the tech in these runs. So it's not gonna be perfect yet. As soon as you see her right foot kind of come up over the fence, you can restart checkpoint. So in general, you can tell when it's time to restart checkpoint because it goes from just checkpoint to a checkpoint and encounter, like it has both. Sometimes both pop up and that's your indication that you've hit a checkpoint. And sometimes it goes from checkpoint and encounter and it just goes to checkpoint. So the encounter thing goes away. You can tell when it changes that it's time to restart. Dive a little bit early, because if you dive too late, she'll hit her head. And that's a waste of time. Dive a little bit early. You can kind of like phase through it a little bit. That's a habit I'm trying to get into more. So we're still in the boring part of the run. It'll be boring for just another few minutes. Come on. This way. Right behind you. Do you miss being with him? With Jesse? <laughs> no. We've been together for so long. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. Hey, how come we never talked about this stuff? I don't know. It didn't feel... Just follow you this never route. Talk to me about Kat. Yeah, cause That's about it so far. Talk about. <laughs> You're wow. just on the horse. I just, I, you don't get I to gallop or anything, really so like there's her. no horse strat to worry about, I don't care about her one with way the or camera the or whatever. <laughs> just take okay. this route. No, I think she's a talented artist. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. You can tie Shimmer up here. Hey. 
You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Come on, Stephen. There's nothing you can do to speed this up. Just wait for Dina to show up. Don't get in her way or anything. Triangle. And you just wait. What do you think of this view, huh? It's pretty nice. Yeah, this route has. A yeah, turn. this this part of the run is pretty boring. <laughs> it gets it gets less boring once you do the first combat what encounter. Which I'm very excited to show you guys. So yeah, as soon as you can move Ellie, or as soon as you can zoom, then you can restart checkpoint. I always, I like to do zoom, because you can see the camera just goes from being completely still to like zooming all the way in really fast. As soon as it starts to zoom, that's usually, that's how we tell where a lot of these checkpoints are. So you just hit a checkpoint. What's weird about this checkpoint is you can actually move before the gameplay comes back. You can actually move while the screen is still black. So hold forward and sprint, squeeze, and yeah, keep Who going. Do to do this route with? Don't get in front of Dina. It? She'll spaz out Eugene. and waste time. Right. Oh, Eugene. You don't need the rifle bullet because you have fun. infinite ammo. Oh yeah. So just wait for Dina. Plus. He taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. May we all be that sharp at 73. May we all make it to 73. <laughs> as soon as you go through this doorway, there's another restart checkpoint. Right here. Saves a little bit of time. Spam triangle. Spam circle. And as soon as you can move, restart. Come here. Spam triangle. Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. Hold down and to the right. To look at the town as fast as possible. There's the town. With the big tower thing? Yep. Spam That's circle. Next lookout is. Now, you take like two Get steps back and there's another restart checkpoint. Like right here. Maybe a little bit before that. And then restart. Puts you a little bit forward. Question. I don't know what's fastest there. You jump off or you step off or whatever. I always try to jump off though and position it. Patrol. As good as know. possible. We're here to kill infected, not to look fancy. <laughs> Come on. You can actually get in front of Dina on the horse. So just take this route that I, I take. Think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? Try not to bump into anything. No. That's the most important part. Age, like a long life. Go to the right of these trees, because you, you actually move way. faster. And the route looks a little bit longer, but you definitely go faster. Well, Stay well, in front of her. Don't let her pass you. Don't run into these stuff. rocks. Go to the right. Boots today? She will try to pass you. Don't let her do it. Because <laughs> it'll, it'll save you a good amount of time if you stay in front of her. Don't run into this twig on the left. It will stop you completely. <laughs> I've done that so many times. Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. That was good. We stayed in front of her. Alright, here's the first encounter. It's a lot of fun. It's very spicy. It's it's very a lot of these encounters are very fast since we have one shot on. We definitely take advantage of that. 
Run through here. This way. As soon as you can get that shot. As soon as you shoot, you can restart. I was actually late on that. But as soon as you're landing, you can be aiming. So as soon as you're landing, try to hit aim. Dodge jump into this door, it's faster. Apparently there's a way to get a fast animation. Oh, we got it. Okay. Um, she has two different knife animations. I'm going to turn me on for a second. She has the, like, stab, stab animation. Or if you hit sprint, she just does a quick stab and then goes faster. So you have to hit all two. You have to time it. Anthony is the one who showed me that. Um, I'm not actually sure how to tell you all how it's done. Just... Try to get the sprint animation. Okay, let's continue. Now here's a very interesting strat. Instead of restarting checkpoint here, go to um, accessibility, combat accessibility, reduce enemy perception, goes off. Go into your difficulty, turn stealth to grounded, and enemies to something like hard. I do hard. Um, this will say, do you want to change your cha challenge level? You have to restart the encounter. You have to time it as soon as you get the checkpoint because it's going to restart encounter. So this just does the automatic restart encounter for us. Now I'll try to do the strat right first try. I should have probably made a save or something. Shot, shot. Shot, shot. Oh. His buddy was in the way. I shot the one of them twice because he was in the way of the other runner. But that's the basic idea. Perfect. Just pistol shots. You get one shot, so... Just shoot as fast as you can, but don't miss your shots. Okay, as soon as Dina moves here, you can restart. And you're good. Boost her up. Ellie, help me up there. I want to look around. Keep the camera up a little bit. Try to angle it right where the camera is going to be. While she's up here, go get this brick. You don't really need it. Because the window is very tight to pick it up. But always go for it. Just make sure your path is pretty optimized or else you're wasting time. It's not hard. It's back and forth. Okay, dodge off of this, kind of to the left. Look, a little bit back and to the see. left. All Prone right. early. Let's figure out how to get in there. And I swear. Ellie, are you clean? Yeah. Up. Watch the controller here. As soon as you climb this, you can just jump backwards. Interesting tech here. Triangle dodge, and then, oops, I dodged twice. You can get the alcohol without opening the drawer. No, I dodged an extra time, so don't do that. Let's cancel this. I'm in. There it is. That's faster. But if you do it optimally, then you save maybe half a second or something. Up, X. And you can actually just hold R1 from right here, and she starts using it. You don't have to hit circle, you don't have to hit up. Just go straight from crafting to using it. I see spores in there. Masks on. Put the mask on. This checkpoint is weird. It's not actually about what position you're in. It's about waiting for about a second until after you go through the door. So I just like to run over here. And that's about long enough. Squeeze through. There you go.
You don't have to hit triangle here. And if you want to. Now in other categories, people like to restart checkpoint here. You don't have to. Like I said, restart checkpoints waste one second. And you have to wait till you can move anyway. So you might as well just not. Um, I swipe left on the touchpad. You can turn high contrast on. I think it helps. Okay, just get those two shots out as fast as possible and restart checkpoint. There you go. Dina. And it's still on ground, to remember. We're going to change the difficulty after this next encounter. Don't forget, if you change the difficulty, don't forget to change it back. Go through here. Actually, going, you can go to the left here and climb early. She kind of glides up to the counter. Thanks. Swam circle. Careful with that. I'm, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a save. Just to show you guys a few different... A few different cases. Um... What should I overwrite? What should I overwrite? I'll overwrite this one. Okay. And as soon as you start climbing, pretty much you can restart checkpoint. Now, it's pretty much you have six infected to kill and six bullets in a clip. So do your best not to miss any shots. If you miss a shot, then you have to reload. And that's a pretty decent time loss. You could switch to the rifle, maybe. Just do your best not to miss. All right, so just get all these shots as fast as possible, but don't rush them because you can definitely miss them, and that's not ideal. Perfect. That's perfect. Let's uh, let's do it again. I'll do a couple more attempts of this just to show you guys that um, one, two, that third or i guess it's the fourth infected that you kill that runner in the back likes to go in different directions sometimes here thanks so you should be prepared Nothing for that right. you should really be practicing these sections quite a bit see it went to the right that time that's different there you go uh, let's do one more. That first shot, I try to get out as fast as possible. If you miss the first shot, just restart checkpoint as fast as you can. Because you want to try not to miss any of these shots. Like I said, you have six bullets and, uh, you have six infected to kill and six bullets in a clip. Here. So... Thanks. Careful with that. You want to not miss any shots, if possible. If you miss, like, your third or fourth shot, then just keep going. Uh, keep trying to go as fast as possible, and you can reload at some point if you need to. The shot that I missed the most is this one. Went to the right again. Sometimes you can be late for that clicker. Dang. Um, sometimes you can be late for that clicker. I'll, I'll show you kind of a poor attempt and show you what you might want to do there. So you're a little slow. And this one, you don't know what's happening. You get it. This clicker, sometimes it likes to go left. Sometimes it likes to go left. If it goes left, shoot the runner first and then shoot the clicker. I couldn't actually demonstrate. But sometimes that clicker likes to go left. If it does, then turn around and shoot the runner first. There we go. Um, I, that's good enough. Uh, there's a lot of RNG, but this is a lot different than Grounded because the RNG is pretty adaptable in this category. In Grounded, it can be a game changer. Like This is a common spot for Grounded runners to reset. In this category, the biggest thing you can worry about is missing shots. Um, so just try to have a good performance there. And Okay, so we beat the encounter. You can restart checkpoint, but remember, it's on grounded. We changed the difficulty to grounded right here. The stealth is on grounded. And we also changed reduced enemy perception. Go ahead and turn this back on. 
and go to your difficulty, turn this back down to very light, turn this back down to very light, and it says changing it will restart encounter. That's good. That's what we want. Go to the door. We don't need high contrast on anymore. I won't budge. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. Okay. Now, as soon as you can move, or like I enjoy doing, as soon as you can aim, that's when you can skip puzzle here. So as soon as it starts aiming, this is a puzzle, so you can skip it. I'm actually really bad at the horse stuff here, so I'm probably not the best to watch for the horse. I'll tell you what to do, but no promises that I can actually pull it off. Try to keep the horse going in as straight of a line as possible. Following you. Around this tree. Go to the left of this hey, sign. Are we? Go to the left of the next sign too. Okay. And go through here. Aim for the edge of this tree. And do a slight left. And aim Stay for this rock. Worse. Do not let Dina pass you. Do not okay. Don't let that happen. Because it wastes time. I just think it's so hard. It's so hard to not let her know, pass. Other people are better at it than me. But what I just did weighs Dina, probably a second or two. So, better to try to avoid it. I don't understand Dina. it. Like I said, I'm bad at the horse. So don't listen to me when it comes to horse stuff. Dina. Thankfully, you don't have to be a master at the horse to get a sub 205. <laughs> In this category. Right, as soon as you hit the tree, I'm looking at the tree on the right here. As soon as you're pretty much lined up with it, you can restart checkpoint. And then as soon as the camera starts to move on its own here, restart checkpoint. There might be a load screen here. There is. Now we have a brick. We picked up that brick in the first patrol encounter. We use that to throw through the window here. So, get your brick ready. If you didn't have a brick, you can pick up one of those bottles. Doesn't really matter. Throw and climb before it actually breaks the window. What's going on here? And with this, all you have to do is flip it. I think once, maybe twice, so I just spam triangle. Definitely Eugene's place. That's how you flip it. He was a fun and fan. then spam circle. He served with Tommy. As soon as you're ready to put they it back. Idea. Yeah. They got into it's probably best place. to hit triangle twice, because it's already facing the way that you want it to be. Okay, it's Dina just cut us off. What? At Denver QZ. Killed three soldiers. And two civilians. Jesus. Of these corners. He also told me that Keep it nice and tight. Slow tortured some big Fedra general. I don't know. I, I don't buy Tommy doing that though. You're the generator. As soon as you get your third triangle prompt, like as soon as you hit triangle, you can restart checkpoint. Hit triangle on this as early as possible, because she does walk faster after you hit it. Let's see. Spam circle. Don't need to upgrade anything. And get through the door. I'm not great at this, but there's a movement here where oh, you zoom hello. and unzoom, and she takes like a big step forward. Elliot, it does save like two floor? or three seconds, I think. There's more stuff down there. Then as soon as she says, Ellie, look at the floor, you can start jogging. Not here. Come on. I know I'm talking about a bunch of little tedious time saves, but they definitely add up. You want your movement to be good in this run. Cause it comes down to that for sure. A sex den. That's why he didn't tell you about it. I hope it's a sex den for his sake. He was so lonely, man. Oh my god, it's weed. That's a lot of dead weed.
I like to have my left thumb on the pause button. As soon as you can hit circle, you can pause and skip cinematic. I think this is another long load screen, so I like to stay on the pause mini for about 10 seconds. And then you can skip and it shortens the load screen. Alright, this section is pretty straightforward. Um, you're just running. But... There's some important stuff with the path that you take and your climbing animations and that kind of stuff. The most interesting thing is punching down this slope right here. You do that? Pretty awesome. It ends up saving like four seconds, I think. When you drop off here, remember, try to hug every corner as tight as possible. Try to climb all the way in the corner right here on this platform. That was pretty much perfect. That all was really good. I'm gonna go back and talk about some of those things again. All right, let me hug this corner right here. Okay, uh, let me show you some more details about this section. Okay, so there are a couple important things I want to show you. Uh, the most important thing is where to stand when you're falling off, or when you're, when you're punching down this ice here. Because you have to stand in a certain spot. You see where it kind of like makes a V shape here? You have to stand at the bottom of that V. Because if you're standing too far to the right, or too far to the left, like over here, then it's not going to work. You have to stand right here. See where this little like V is? Okay, you saw it. You saw it. Um, <laughs> it's where there's like less of an overhang. You have to punch where there's less of an overhang. Right. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to show you where not to stand, actually. This is what happens if you go too far left. It doesn't work. And I'll show you what happens if you go too far right. It doesn't work. So you gotta go right in the middle. Right where there's not very much overhang. And start punching right before you hit the eyes. There's a little bit of wiggle room. Like right here. There's a weird side effect there, too. Okay, there it is. There's the death. Look what happens. This happened to me, and I was like, what the... What What do I do? What do I do? Is that a rip run? No, it puts you right here. It's fine. Just keep going. That's actually a good thing. If that happens, then that means you did a good job. <laughs> so don't worry. You fall off right here. That was weird, she didn't land with momentum. Try to hug this corner and then climb up right here. If you're too far left, she goes really slow. And if you're too far right, she climbs up. You saw that with her hand? She like puts her hand down on it and climbs up. So you want to climb up right here. See, she just steps up and goes. She just stepped up really fast. So you want to step up right here. Nope, that was too far to the right. That was just a little bit too far to the right. I'm going to step up right here. Right? Because that animation's a bit faster. You could also, if you step up too far to the left, she kind of like goes a little slower, but that's fine. Kind of climb at an angle there. She climbs faster. Cut through here. Climb this at the corner. And you can climb that gate from far away. That's why you, why you want to climb on the corner. It just shortens the path a little bit. Alright. Very nice. 
right here at the door as soon as Joel opens it right now squeeze through you okay left of the table right of the lockers door frame straight for this door and spam triangle early because you get this little glide going up to it you just have to kill four runners there's actually no real time constraint on this. You can take your time if you really want to. Oh, Joel's cool on that one. Because you're waiting for Tommy. You're waiting for Tommy anyway. So you don't have to bust your ass trying to kill him as fast as possible. You just have to not take forever. Wait for Tommy to look at the window. You don't really do anything. You see a way up there? Here, use this! Anyway, hey, girl. spam triangle takes a second. Push it up under the car. Get inside. I'll get the guns to the window. Uh, do whatever the fuck you want. I like to do target practice. I like to try to get headshots. Just two things you gotta do. Don't die. Well, three things you gotta do. Don't die. Don't stand in front of the gondola that Tommy's pushing. And there's one infected, one runner that pops down that will go to Tommy. Just don't let that runner get to Tommy. It hops down right here. Just make sure that runner does not get Tommy. It's this one, I think. Maybe it's not. I just try to kill everybody just for fun. You know? That was a headshot. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. But yeah, just... Whatever, just don't die, don't get in Tommy's way, and don't let any infected catch up to Tommy. Because we're just waiting for him. That's all we're doing. I got it, come on, so be ready. Then as soon as the camera turns, the camera angles down and to the left, as soon as it starts doing that, restart checkpoint. And you can start sprinting pretty much right away. I'm getting in front of Joel here. So go left of him. And as soon as you set foot in here, that was almost frame perfect. That was like the second or third frame. You can skip. Start going this way. Jump across, and as soon as you see this light right here, like this shadow, right as you step over the shadow, that's where you can restart checkpoint. That's where I like to do it. It was right where the feet were. Okay, there are two things that you can do under logs and stuff like that. Let me go back to it, let me go back. There's a tech called dodge crouching. You dodge and then you hit circle a couple times dodge circle circle l2 and that's a quick way to get through you can't do it backwards you, it's hard to do it backwards here but you can get through it pretty fast sometimes she stays crouching like that just now if she stays crouching sometimes it's gonna do l2 circle circle l2 l2 just spam it a couple times and she'll get back on top i think that it's fastest to get a really good dodge crouch to where she's like crouching for as minimal amount of time as possible. Like that was pretty good. Some other people like to dive under it. So you jog up to it, hold circle. As soon as you hit the ground, you can start running again. It's about the same speed. If you get a almost a, a perfect dodge crouch, I think the dodge crouch is faster, but most people find diving to be easier. You can do whatever you want. You're okay. You're okay. Let's 
squeeze through here. L2, dodge and step. Now once you get in here, you, she starts... She goes from doing a fast jog to a slow jog. Now as soon as you're doing a slow jog, it's it's a lot better to just start dodging. Because dodging is faster than a slow jog. But even better than dodging is dodge melee. You can string together dodge melees, like dodge knives or sprinting dodge knives or whatever. Um, and it's different in all sorts of different places. It depends on where you are. Sometimes you want to do the sprinting animation, sometimes you don't want to. Um, sometimes you just want to dodge. So as soon as you get in here, dodge, dodge, and just keep dodging. And keep dodging all the way in. As soon as you hit in this door frame, as soon as you get right there, restart checkpoint, and dodge melee. Non-sprinting dodge knives. So you do two dodge knives and then a dodge. That's a lot faster than just jogging. That's even faster than just jumping down the stairs. Just do two dodge non-sprinting knives. Just watch the controller if it's confusing. Okay, so that's a lot of skip cinematics. I couldn't get to the horses. Looks like time I don't think hitting good. sprint does anything here, but the only down. real takeaway of this is to Fuck take the shortest down. path, so that means hug this Look curve. Stay like close to these bricks without like running into them. Now, as soon as you get in the house, it's faster to zoom. It's faster to walk while you're zooming. I think it saves a couple seconds. What do you need? I, I, can go I, don't, I think I did a side-by-side -side once, and I oh, think that zooming saves about three seconds throughout the whole house. So just watch the okay. controller. Basically, it's just the aim button. Come on. Hold it in the whole time. I'll hang out there. She walks faster. It's very strange. It's not the sprint button. Sprinting does nothing in here. But zooming does make her walk faster. She gets this like attitude. Like you can see the swing in her hips. Like she, she does walk a little more aggressively. I don't know why that's faster, but it is. All you do here is just spam circle. Oh, a watch. Okay. What else do we got? A gun. Goodbye. Okay. Then hit zoom again. Ellie, can you come down here? Everything okay? Yeah, it's just just come on down. As soon as you see the camera move, that's a cinematic. You can skip. And that is all of Jackson. Yay.